Lats, what are your thoughts after this cup exit here at Hillsborough? Uh, just frustration, to be honest, to give them two goals away, obviously. Uh, so late on, after working so hard. Yeah, just the overriding emotions, frustration. Take us through both halves from your perspective. Yeah, I think first half, I thought we was good on the ball, dominated large parts of it, uh, had chances. Should have gone in more than one nil up, we didn't. Even going in that one nil up against Sheffield Wednesday here, so you're still in a good spot. And I think even second half, they obviously dominated the ball. We sort of let them have it at the back. We just looked really comfortable, and then just out of nowhere, just yeah, it happened, and we conceded two goals like that. What was it about Stag's display here, particularly in that first half, that made them so good? Um, the first half, I think, it's just we all, was all getting on the ball, uh, moving it quickly, one two touch. There was some. Some of the chances we had, if that goal went in, you're looking at contender for goal of the season. So, yeah, well, it, we obviously played well in spells, but it's hard to really feel that at the minute, if I'm honest. Such a variety of opportunities as well today. Yeah, uh, myself, when I broke through in the first minute, tr when I tried to tee Swanee up, maybe I should have shot. Uh, yeah, I think quite a few people had chances. So, as I say, you're coming here and you're getting chances, it's, it's a good sign, but frustrating we should be in the next round but it is, it is what it is and good luck to them. What about Stag's goal, your goal, a brilliant cross from Kellen Gordon and a lovely finish from yourself? Yeah just a, just a tap in really, Kells put it on a plate, uh, just floated it in that area and all I'm thinking is just hit the target. I've had a couple of them lately where I feel like I've hit the target and it's like come off the keeper's arm or been deflected wide so it's, it was obviously nice to see it hit the back of the net but don't really feel like that at the minute. Take us through the decisive spell for Sheffield Wednesday, a five-minute spell which ultimately did the damage in the second period. Yeah, I'd, I don't, I don't, I can't even look at them and be like it's good quality and that's League One quality and they've done us for qualities. I think it's just sloppy from us, if I'm honest. Uh, yeah, that's it is more our doing than theirs for sure. Uh, why do you say that? Just, just felt like it was quite quite a slack goal to give away. It's obviously a common theme we're having at the minute. We're all aware of it. Uh, we just need to try and work hard to put it right. Still had opportunities to uh, level the tie thereafter? Still had opportunities after. Uh, I had one from the cross. I think Maris had one. Uh, yeah, half chances, but yeah, I would have liked to have hit the target at least on mine. <laughs> you might not be in the mood to think like this now, but what can you take from this game? Um, We've obviously competed with Sheffield Wednesday, they're top of League One, so we're in League Two. If we if we can play like that week in, week out in League Two, we're not gonna have any problems. Like there's that's obviously clear, but it's the FA Cup and you, you want to be in that third round and it is just frustrating to be honest. Great backing today, Laps, as well from the Snake supporters. Unreal, I think that's why it hurts so much as well, because you come place like this and you feel like you're at home and it's just frustrating because whenever we go away it feels like a home home game really and yeah, we've just got to Frustrated, obviously, for them, and I think all the players are. We, we would have loved to have got through, get a win here as well. It's obviously something for them to remember, and yeah, it's just, just a bad end, really, to the day. You really do look gutted here and now. Yeah, frustrated, honestly, Steve. Thanks, Labs. Thank you.